All right, YouTube, today's the day. We're gonna be swapping a Predator 420 in my uh, lifted golf cart. So here's the good old 20 inch lift on the golf cart. And uh, my engine of choice was a brand new Predator 420 because it makes about 13 horsepower and uh, I got bunny for it for Christmas. I got a torque converter for her, an engine plate, a sprocket for where the pulley on the transaxle goes. And uh, yeah, so I think the first thing we're gonna do is pull the engine out of the box, see how it fits in here, and then figure out where we wanna weld this thing onto the frame so that we can get everything lined up. And uh, yeah, we should be able to get her ripping today. I don't think this should be too difficult. All right, so we got the Predator 420 out of the box. And uh, yeah, it's actually quite a large engine, but I know it's gonna fit because with the lift, we have plenty of clearance in here to fit this big engine. And uh, yeah, I have a Predator 212 in one of my quads and uh, it's a lot smaller than this. So I'm hoping this thing makes some decent power. It actually comes with electric start. So I'm gonna try and uh, work that out with the battery I have in this thing. And uh, I actually have an alternator that came with a stock engine. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna drop this thing in here after I get the old carb off and uh, just some other stuff, clean this thing out so that I can put the new engine in it and mock it up. So I was taking the drive pulley off and yeah, all it took was hammering on it with a sledgehammer and the flywheel puller that snapped it four times or whatever. So yeah, that was a pain to get off, but that mess is over. So now we can uh, try and hook up a sprocket to this back and then mount up the engine and we should be in business. All right, so I just got the engine dropped in here and uh, yeah, barely fits in here. I'm probably gonna have to take the exhaust and some stuff off just to get her fitting better. And obviously we're gonna straight pipe her anyways. So um, yeah, so I'm just gonna drop, probably mock up an engine plate tack it in have it be a little bit more flat because the swing arm is actually sitting at an angle because of the lift so as you can see the engine wants to sit flat like that so we're gonna make an engine plate that sits flat like that and yeah so i'm just gonna mock up the engine plate tack it in and then uh, we should be in business to bolt this engine up to this frame great so all the bolts that came with the torque converter do not fit in there so i gotta run to the parts store to buy one bolt of course you know that's my luck though all right we got the right size bolt for this hoss let's get the fuck up out of here oh yes all right so i got the torque converter put up on the engine and then um so yeah this is probably how it's gonna look. So we got, this thing's on a pipe, so I actually notched it out a little bit to make it fit a little bit better. But yeah, so this is just to make it flat. If you remember from the swing arm being a little bit slanted, I measured it out and uh, yeah, it should be about level there. And uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna weld right around this thing. And then this is gonna get welded to the frame. And then obviously the engine's gonna bolt right up onto here. And yeah, then we'll have the engine on the frame and uh, I'm just going to tack it in first so that we know that it's in the right spot and the chain lines up and everything. So yeah, this really isn't that difficult. Um, but yeah, we're going to need to get that steering figured out. But once we get all this welded up, um, engine's going to be on there. I just need to figure out a throttle cable, hook up the chain. And yeah, then she's going to be on her way to ripping. All right, we got the good old titanium 125 and we're going to get this hog welded up.
So we got the thing welded up. Those welds actually don't look too bad. I must have gotten better since I was having to do them at harsh angles with the lift kit. All right, so now I'm gonna bolt up the engine to the plate and then I'm gonna just place it in there um, and then see where I want it, tack it in place and then probably try and put the chain on just to make sure that everything lines up. And then, uh, yeah, once I know everything's all good, then I'll fully weld it in. But yeah, I'm actually getting a little bit better at welding. As you can see, some of those were not terrible. They're actually pretty good for me. So yeah. All right, so I got the uh, engine sitting where I want it. Um, seems to be pretty lined up. The sprockets. Um, yeah, you can see the engine plate. I got a couple bolts in there. Uh, so yeah, now I just need to figure out how I wanna mark everything so that I can uh, weld it together in the right spot. Seems like we have decent clearance everywhere. There's no spot where uh, anything's touching. I, I just have this sitting here just to hold the engine where it is. So yeah, I'm gonna mark where the plate is sitting right now. And then I'm gonna take the engine off and weld it into where it is. All right, so uh, we got the engine plate all welded in. She actually looks not too, too bad. The welds on the one part of it aren't amazing. But yeah, she's in there solid. And then, uh, of course, we ran into a ton, a ton of issues. We bo snapped these bolts. So uh, we had to, I just ground some new ones, um, which is not, not easy in here because I don't have a lot of bolt and nut sets. And then I got, had to drill holes in the actual right spots in this because of course, uh, it was the wrong engine plate, even though it said it was for this engine, but whatever it wasn't that difficult so now we're gonna get to the part where we actually get to put the engine in here and uh bolt her down and then see how she looks in here all right so after hours of work we got that sprocket on which lines up pretty good with the uh torque converter sprocket and uh yeah the engine's bolted on so uh we're basically there i put oil in the engine so uh i just need some gas we'll be able to start her up unfortunately the steering is still awful, but if I get this chain hooked up, which I have a master link and I have the right size chain, so it should be good. If I get this chain hooked up, it should be able to move under its own power, which, yeah, then it'll be a completely successful swap. And, uh, yeah. Also, it still has reverse, which is sick because, uh, well, when you're in something this tall, you're not going to want to make too tight of turns. And, uh... If you can't make tight turns, you're probably going to need reverse. And nobody wants to get out and push this thing, so it's going to be nice having reverse in this thing still. So yeah, I ran into tons and tons of issues. But yeah, she's act she actually turned out pretty well. Um, solid, the engine pulled on that, made sure that that's not going to move around or anything. But yeah, now I really, really want to get that steering figured out because I want to be able to ride this thing so bad. I've put in so many hours of work just for something to look this stupid and possibly not work. But honestly, to me, it's worth it. It's going to be absolutely hilarious and hopefully fun to ride. I don't know. It's probably going to flip pretty easily, so I'm going to have to put some spacers on the tires. But with that said, let's get the chain hooked up, and we'll be able to move this thing under its own power for the first time since she was not 20 inches lifted and also had the stock engine that was absolutely shot. I mean, I think I forgot to explain why I'm swapping this engine in it, and it's not only because it has more power, which is awesome, but the old engine only ran on choke, and it barely ran. Like, that thing ran like a dog. It was horrible. So yeah, I'm hoping that this Predator 420 will give me some decent power, and uh, the gearing's actually pretty good. Um, I was watching some other videos, and the gearing that I have, it should go about 30 miles an hour, which is way faster than I want to go in this thing with the steering like this. But yeah, that'll actually be pretty fun. All right, so I actually tightened up the steering a tiny bit. I think it's good enough just to go for a test drive, um, but it is currently like one in the morning and uh, yeah, wouldn't, wouldn't be the best time to go for a test drive, but obviously I really want to. Also, I need some gas and I can't go and get gas right now. So I'm gonna have to go tomorrow morning. <sighs> So yeah, I'm just going to button some stuff off. Noth nothing worth putting on video. Um, yeah, so once I get some gas in the morning, we should be able to try and take her on our first test drive. 
which is exciting, but also scary because there's a lot of things, a lot, a lot of things that could break. Like the sprocket welded to that shaft, the uh, engine mount, the whole suspension. Like I, everything has not actually been ridden on yet, which obviously if I do take it on a test drive, it's going to be like flat ground, not rough terrain, like easy going. I just want to see if it'll move under its own power and if it will steer. So yeah, once I get some gas, we can uh, go from there and see how she moves. And any problems, we'll obviously have to work out. But yeah, I think once we run into our first few issues after that, we should be good to get her ripping and uh, possibly put some bigger tires on it and make it into like a off-roading one. Since obviously this thing has got the clearance that you need for off-roading, as long as we can get some bigger tires on it, because the axles are basically touching the ground because it's with those stock tires the axles are same height off the ground so i'll see you guys tomorrow morning when we get some gas and we'll take her for her first test drive oh it's this side So I had to redo the steering and uh, hook up the throttle in a weird way. I'll show you what I did with the steering. So I, there's the normal steering box. And then I had to do this weird bar to get the high rods to actually fit. And it's a lot, a lot stronger than the other system. So here's our current throttle. Um, yeah, that thing goes all the way to the carburetor. So yeah, we got to take her on our first test drive. Um, the chain was a little unaligned, so that made some noise. Uh, the tires could use a little bit better of alignment, but that's not too bad. Um, really, I just need to hook up the throttle, um, strengthen the whole suspension, and then uh, make sure the chain is straight. And then this thing should be ready to ride around like good because I got on her for half a second and... <laughs> This thing's gonna be quick, I can tell you that. We're gonna need some spacers and some bigger tires. So yeah, this is a Predator 420 swap on the golf cart. Um, 20 inch lifted golf cart, actually. I'll, I'll correct myself. So yeah, for more videos of this thing, subscribe. Don't worry, we will have a video of me riding it once I get the thing all the way tuned up.